Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting and talking about Peru's Maze of Terror Ready to Kill on Sunshine Ward Records. Got some thrashy death metal again. Now, following up Stress Angel, I mean... To me, that Stress Angel releases everything I want out of a thrashing, blackened-type death metal release, all in the course of six songs. This is a full length from Maze of Terror. It's not bad. It's actually really fucking good. And, you know, I love fucking Chile and, well, Peru and, like, the whole entire, like, South American scene. I fucking love it. If you watch this channel, you know this. I go over pretty much as much shit from South America that Head Split and Caligari put out. I feel like those two labels really, really, you know, go deep into the underground and find all these gnarly, like, South American bands and shit, and it's fucking awesome. Like, Maze of uh, Terror, though, they play this type of death metal. Super, super thrash oriented. Yeah. Uh, that's fucking cool. Like, I was listening to this, like, again earlier, and I was like, that's a cool fucking riff, like, but Maze of Terror ready to kill. Do you like thrashy fucking tunes? This pretty much has you covered if you enjoy, you know, thrash in your death metal, or just thrash in general. Because the death metal elements, like, they're there, but they're not as out in front. It's definitely more rooted in straight up fucking, you know, thrash. Like, it's fucking really fun to listen to. It's a good release. Cool artwork. Not the cover, I'm sorry. I really don't like the cover art. I, I get it, like, it's very classic looking, and when I say classic, I mean, like, early 2000s Photoshop. It just gives me that vibe, like, and then the kind of stereotypical thrashy font with Ready to Kill, just cosmetic stuff, no big deal. Album covers are a big deal, but, like, I, I get what they're going for here. Like, it makes total sense in my brain, if that makes sense. But you have Criminal on guitars, Hammer on drums, Leviathan on bass and voice, and Razor on guitars. Now, that's not the American Leviathan, obviously, who goes by the name of Rest. So, do not confuse the two. Don't be like, wait, what? It's just a name that they chose. They might not even know that there is a U.S. Leviathan. I don't know how that's possible, but hey, bands do it all the time. There's a couple different Leviathans, actually, and, like, bands. Uh, you would think that they would, you know, do a little bit of research and be like, all right, we probably shouldn't name ourselves after one of the most prolific U.S. black metal bands of current times. Like, it's just kind of a weird thing, but it's just a stage name. It's no big deal. But I, I love the Oppenheimer intro sample. It really sets the tone for thermonuclear thrash metal attack. It's just after Stress Angel, it feels, it's good, but it's not great. So, like, it's, you know, kind of depends on your mood and your collection, honestly. Like, do you feel like just listening to some, like, fucking head-banging, 
fun as shit thrash metal, then listen to Maze of Terror. If you want some, you know, very, very sick, heavy, just awesome death thrash with a, it's like cut with a blackened knife, and that's Stygian Black Hands, Stress Angel. To me, that's like perfect. Here, that's a little too polished, honestly. Like that drum sound, to me, this sounds kind of sterile. Listen. The production with the double kick, I really, it, I don't like the way it sounds at all, honestly. It's like one of my few complaints about this. Like, Ready to Kill by Maze of Terror, this is a good album, it's just, like I said, I have Stress Angel in my head, and I just like, I feel like I'm like picking out things I don't like to talk about instead of the things I do like about this and I really like the fucking riffs the guitar work on here is fantastic is it really original? no but it's fucking enjoyable like I could sit here and listen to the whole album and not be like annoyed or anything and that's fucking good and you know Coming from Peru, I think, you know, it's a land that has a lot of thrash metal roots and a lot of bands, you know, they play this style of, listen to this. Another cool thing though, cosmetically, that's badass. With the eyes and stuff. And then it says, Maze of Fucking Terror. Which is, yeah, that's fucking cool as shit actually. Like, I didn't realize it said Maze of Fucking Terror. Sick. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, some South American thrashy death metal. You can just say it's straight up thrash, but I hear a little bit of death metal in here and, you know, it's enjoyable. Maze of Terrors Ready to Kill on Sunshine Ward Records. They do have copies still available. So if you like your metal thrashy and kind of fun, check out Maze of Terror Ready to Kill. Some thrashing savagery from fucking Peru on Sunshine Ward Records. Like, very, very classic sounding vocals. Like I said, it's not the most original thing, but it's worth it for the guitar solos and guitar work. Like, the riffs, like I said, they're great. Just the double bass, I really, really don't like the production on it, and that's kind of my only real complaint about this. Besides some of the more melodic, thrashy riffs, they are fun, but it's not my cup of tea. Like, it sounds like something that would be on like a Skeleton Witch, you know, album, you know? It's just not my thing, really. Like, I like that kind of dark fucking thrash 
or you know, pretty much like what Power Trip did, like taking Mega Death and just kind of making it sound like hardcore, which is great, you know. Rest in peace, Riley. But definitely check out Maze of Terror, Ready to Kill on Sunshine Ward Records. A fun little thrash metal attack of a full length. Get into it. And thank you, Sunshine Ward, for sending this my way. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Peace.